A steady stream of autumn rain is drenching the southern parts of the peninsula, which will eventually make its way across the rest of the nation this week. For more details, let's turn to our Michelle Park at the Weather Center. Michelle. Now the southern provinces and Jeju Island are being soaked with rain that's pouring 30 millimeters per hour, and it doesn't seem to taper off anytime soon. In fact, a rain front is moving northwards, com um, covering more regions by the country throughout the rest of our week. Now, until Tuesday, up to 120 millimeters of rain will fall along the southern coast, while Jeju and Jeollabukdo and Gyeongsangbukdo provinces will see a bit less but still heavy amount of up to 60 millimeters. Now, going over to our readings, the nation will mostly wake up to 21 degrees Celsius, whereas Jeju is still experiencing tropical night, waking up to 25 degrees by tomorrow morning. If it's not raining, you'll be looking up to dark clouds into the afternoon. Seoul will be topping out to 29 degrees, while most of the southern regions are cooler in the mid-20s. Now, also by Friday, the 13th typhoon of the season, Lingling, will advance to the southwest sea of Jeju and keep moving towards the west sea of the Korean Peninsula on Saturday. Now, as of now, the nation is expected to receive a rainstorm over the weekend, but we'll have to keep an eye on the typhoon's trajectory as it can make a detour. I'll leave you with the weather conditions around the world.